We're back now with Dr. Darian talking about kidney stones when it comes to getting a diagnosis and also treating and preventing them. So what do we need to know? So first, let's talk about what causes kidney stones. And so this is a common conversation that I have. I just want to show you a graphic just to help you visualize mm -hmm. and understand. So kidney stones are created in the kidney. And what happens is, is that once that stone is created, it can pass into that tube. You'll see that kidney there highlighted in brown, that tube highlighted in yellow. Once it's passing through that tube, which is your ureter, into your bladder, that passage is where most of the pain happens. That's when mm. patients come into the emergency room and they have something called renal colic. It's another word for just can't get comfortable. And it's really obvious. So as far as a diagnosis, because this hurts. Yeah. So people want to know what's going on. Yeah. So when you come into the emergency room, if you have something like a kidney stone, first off, we're going to get the history. If a patient has had a history of kidney stones and that helps me with the diagnosis, often it will involve blood tests, urine tests, and imaging like a CAT scan or an ultrasound. And what we're trying to figure out is where is the stone, how big it is, and if there's an associated infection. A lot of the times people ask, how can I prevent kidney stones? Mm -hmm. The most common cause is dehydration and a high salt diet. Dehydration? Dehydration and a high salt diet. There's a lot of misconceptions that having too much calcium, it causes a kidney stone. That's actually not true. You should get enough calcium, but decrease your salt, drink enough water, and then most of all, talk to your doctor if you keep getting them to figure out what's the background and the cause. Because I was about to say, be. should you see a doctor or do you just let it pass on your own? You should absolutely see a doctor. If you have pain that's unrelenting and more than you've ever experienced, number one, you should talk to a doctor. If you feel like the pain can be controlled at home and you know what the cause is, you can go in that direction by making an appointment. But most importantly, if you have fever, chills, symptoms of pain, and you're not sure where the symptoms are coming from, you have to get evaluated. All right, doctor, thank you very much. We of appreciate course. it. <laughs>